गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम आदित्य साई वेटल आई जॉइन फिट जीन आई बिलीव जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड आई वॉज लाइक आउट आई आई लव साइंस सो आई जॉइन फिट जी फॉर बेसिकली दैट पर्पज आई डिड नॉट यू नो लाइक आई डिड नॉट थिंक अबाउट आई वॉन्ट टू राइट दिस एग्जाम आई वॉन्ट राइट दैट एग्जाम आई डि नॉट नो अबाउट ऑल दिस एग्जाम्स एट द टाइम सो आई जस्ट यू नो वेंट फॉर फॉर दी लव ऑफ साइंस and uh, yes vidji has uh, upheld that spirit until the, you know the last day uh, before which i wrote neat and uh, it has truly helped me you know like believe in the power of science so i started out uh, with negative marks in first tests which i wrote that was very depressing but uh, we we used to have uh, two phase tests one for like ntsc level and one for je advanced level even when we were in ninth even though it was not that you know like actual je advanced questions it was still really tough and uh, you know negative marks were not uh, something you know very encouraging so but after that it is it's the indian way of doing it is to just say it is what it is and just you know like proceed with it so i kept on going my marks improved by you know phase 4 or phase 5 by the time i finished 9th and uh, by the time i came into 10th i just understood i don't want to get into je advanced i went into neat so i loved biology i loved to study about the human body and uh, you know stuff related with it so i i joined the neat batch the uh, fiji medical uh, department in uh, 2021 and you know classes started as soon as ntsc was over so it was like uh, even even before we finished 10th we were going through 11th and we started with uh, human physiology and biology so it was it was pretty interesting it caught uh, my attention in the beginning and yeah those tests were not like my first tests in 2019 it went a little bit better since i had a little bit of foundation uh, the faculty taught so well I, like i never had a single uh, point in me when i thought that oh i should i shouldn't have asked this or you know they didn't teach me this or you know no, nothing like that they just went through straight with it taught every single point made sure that uh, you know like i did not have any doubts because they would just regularly every 5 minutes even in online class they would just ask uh, do you have any doubts did you understand everything and you know they used to have such uh, you know like uh, very nice illustrations with their ppt and stuff like that so even in biology or in chemistry there will you know pictures help us understand a little bit more and that was uh, you know we had a lot of things to like understand from that uh, the tests in the package and all they were like they, we had so many model questions they were like these train these kind of questions will appear in these kind of exams so we when we uh, got exposed to more models more kind of difficult questions more easy questions you know more medium questions we got like a thorough uh, you know uh, look at all the kinds of questions possible and if we ever had doubts it it was at least just just one or one and a half hours away from being cleared because if we put a doubt on whatsapp or if we just give a call to the faculty they would just quickly immediately answer it and they would answer it in such a way that we will never you know raise that doubt again because we would have understood it completely even in tests after tests we used to have test analysis sessions they used to like thoroughly analyze they used to uh, ask us to make tables where uh, you know we used to write which questions we got wrong why did we get it wrong how did we try to improve it what is our aim for the next test and you know stuff like that so consistently if we keep doing it definitely uh, you know there should be something uh, you know the fruit uh, of the hard work should definitely be there that is that is the basically the goal with which we worked and uh, by the time i finished 11th i was you know confident we can go ahead with neat neat is you know nice 11th is usually a time when we, when we finish 11th it's usually the time for students to think oh do i have any backlogs am i made for this exam you know you know stuff questions like that and uh, it do happens a lot of times that you know students think okay fine we have studied one year now i have understood neat is not for me or you know there are there are some people like that some cases you know people get backlogs and stuff like that the thing uh, you know the way to deal with it is just that you don't have to keep on thinking about it if you think if you think oh i have you know four or five lessons left or i have not studied it yet and then you'll just you know have stress uh, stress and pressure and you will miss out on the actual 12th topic which you're covering in 12th so it's best not to think too much about it and just cover it as soon as possible like without uh, you know putting too much stress on your mind and uh, you know going through 12th was really simple because 12th is a little bit you know a little bit uh, lesser you know stress uh, pressurizing than the 11th part and of course at the end of the preparation we were like going for so many tests you know the more number of tests you write the better it is and uh, we wrote so many tests so many full tests so many part tests you know every chapter we had you know chap tests after every chapter was completed and we were encouraged to solve the package in the cpp and ev- everything like that so uh, you know when the test came full test came we did not have too much of uh, we did not have too much of pressure as to like i don't know this concept how do i deal with this in a full test you know nothing like that and full test used to have a really balanced kind of thing difficult questions concepts everything used to be really balanced 
and uh, by the time we finished our boards and the last one month or one and a half months before neat uh, you know we had to take it upon ourselves from morning to evening you know there is no other way out because that is the only way you can actually get whatever scores you're getting in neat so yeah we used to go to like uh, the center in morning and we used to come back in the evening or sometimes it'll take even late evening to come back and after that uh, you know some people used to stay sit and study at home sit study at night my dad used to say study in the morning uh, it's not advisable to study for like 10 12 hours in a day and then again come back home and study just eat and sleep i used to do that and uh, that's why you know like there were not too many health problems or you know like mental problems it's like uh they i did not have too much stress even during that one and a half months because you know like adequate sleep was there i i did not compromise on sleep 8 hours or 7 and a half hours is like a minimum given and uh, of course you know a little bit of uh, activities like uh, you know like exercising kind of activities like swimming and stuff help you like uh, keep you know yourself active because you'll be sitting for like 8 8 and a half hours or 9 hours a day and you know that that heat of the seat or something this surrounding surrounding will make you very depressed and stuff so if there are any activities it's very helpful and i i uh, had i went for swimming during the last one and a half months and you know that was also very helpful because you know the water is very cold and uh, you know the surroundings are a little bit hot at that time and yeah it's it's a good mix even during the day of neat uh, you know it's uh, i i reached the center 2 hours before the exam started and uh, if if you are a student you would be knowing that reaching 2 hours before means 2 hours of stress sitting over there thinking about the exam you know when will the exam start looking at the clock every 5 minutes thinking okay uh, okay 5 more minutes okay 5 more minutes you know stuff like that the thing is you have to keep your mind calm at that time look at your surroundings look at the people around you think think uh, what what good thing has happened to you in the exam like i got the last uh, roll number seat in the exam so i was happy my paper would be collected last you know stuff like that so there there are always small tidbits even if you are in the worst scenario there are always small tidbits to look at and laugh and you know like have some calmness in your mind and uh, even while going through the exam like once the when the biology part is a little bit lengthy and you feel like you took more than 1 hour or 1 hour 10 minutes or 20 minutes for biology immediately that panic sets in and you're like what will i do for physics what if physics is also lengthy you know even if you have like 2 hours left like not exactly 2 hours, if you have 1 and 1/2 hours left for physics and chemistry it's better to take 2 minutes like you know to calm down not panic because if you panic at the beginning the entire exam will be ruined so if you have one and a half, le- half hours left for both physics and chemistry it is still okay to like take you know 2 minutes calm down settle your mind and you know like get into the uh, examination point of view not think about stress or anything like how would i do what is this question comes nothing like that if you think of things like that it's very difficult to go through the exam so till the last minute it is you still have time till the last minute uh, you know you can solve questions so there there is no point in you know sitting and panicking thinking what i would do what i would do later later is for later it's not for right now so yeah that is the way to go to at least go through neat and once you come out you know you have to de-stress yourself exam is over so that's it that's what i did uh, went through the exam uh, you know with a calm uh, state of mind and once the exam is over it's the time for us to like completely freak out it's not the time to like sit again and think oh why did i make these mistakes in the exam what if these things i made uh, you know like what if i did not change the question i told my father i did not change this question and he was like why didn't you change this question you would have known this question i told i am not sure if i shared it or not let's check till the answer key comes and you know uh, after that also after the exam also like for one uh, or not one month maybe two three weeks the stress is still there because they are like uh, did you check the answer key do you think the answer key is correct what about the other answer key which came what about this answer key what if nta does this what will nta make key changes you know these things are to just be you know don't take it in one i uh, one year and leave the uh, thing rest of it through the other year uh, that is that is uh, at least what i did and uh, yeah to keep yourself calm and go through it uh, and uh, i would like to thank all my faculty and even the ao and uh, you know all the people who were even in the center at the time coordinating with us and you know doing uh, stuff for us like they started in the morning went through late evening or even you know like night 7 7 30 sometimes the big thanks to them for guiding us throughout our process and uh, you know keeping us motivated even at our low points and even when we were not scoring well they wouldn't uh, put stress on us they would just say okay improve in your next test you know so big thanks to all of them i'm grateful to fitji for uh, you know grooming me from 9th till now uh, i'm grateful to fitji for making me a different person than what i was in 9th so yeah thank you so much thank you fitji